Outdoors bound tonight, concerns about a fish important to recreational and commercial fishermen along the East Coast and especially here in Virginia. Yeah, we're talking about flounder. The fish are on the move and right now researchers at Virginia Tech are trying to figure out where and why. WFXR's George Nolif has the story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Catching flounder is a Virginia tradition. Oh, yeah, that's a nice flounder. That's a nice oh, one. very nice. It's just what we do in the Commonwealth because for decades, when it came to summer flounder, one of the three primary species on the Atlantic coast, Virginia and North Carolina were the epicenter of summer flounder stocks. There were more here than anywhere else. A little bit close. Summer flounder have historically been a really important recreational and commercial resource for um, people in Virginia and along the Atlantic seaboard. That's dinner. Yeah. <laughs> right. But now those flounder are moving and the researchers at Virginia Tech are trying to figure out why. Professor Holly Kinsvater is leading the study. So they've either migrated or they're just the center of their biomass has shifted northward. So where historically most flounder were off of Virginia and North Carolina, now they're up off of Long Island and New Jersey and even moving north towards Nantucket and Massachusetts. It's a female. It's a female. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. I'm so excited. Student researchers from Tech have spent countless hours on the water tracking flounder, trying to figure out where they're going and why. Water temperature appears to play a role. There could be millions and millions of dollars riding on what those Tech researchers find. Right now, Virginia and North Carolina get the biggest allocation of commercial and recreational summer flounder harvest on the East Coast. But if those fish are moving north, those allocations could be moving north too, to New Jersey and New York. I mean, there's only two, oh, the little kid, I remember. And then all two or three commercial fishermen. One guy here and another fellow down there that's only doing, you know, doing to, to help feed in the communities. So it's getting pretty tough. So people like myself just got into taking, you know, get into the tourism because it's another way of life and stay on the water. Climate change is, is the big um, sort of unstoppable force that is dictating uh, where the flounder are and where they're having spawning success. With this project, we're really trying to dig into their spawning biology and spawning behavior. Um, and so we've noticed changes in how long they're spawning uh, and maybe even just, you know, the timing of their migration in and offshore, which could affect the success of those eggs that they're spawning as they move. Even with the shift north, Virginia still has a good summer flounder fishery, at least for now. I always try to emphasize this is a productive stock. It, the fish grows incredibly fast. Um, it, you know, it should be able to be fished sustainably. It's just we're having some trouble figuring out how climate change has influenced some of the basic biology of the stock. I mean, the water has is a good living, but it's tough. You know, you got to battle the weather and the elements and work around Mother Nature. You know, so. It's uh, just something you got to do. It is 19 and three quarters. And of course, that was George Nolif reporting. Now, George tells us that in addition to summer flounder or fluke, southern flounder, winter flounder, and gulf flounder are primary flounder species on the east coast. Winter flounder are found primarily north of Delaware Bay, while southern and gulf flounder are found in southern waters. Now, the Virginia Tech study could help fisheries manage or fishery managers rather determine future harvest allocations.